All right, now joining us is Sean Anderson Vi with his four-legged friend Butters. Sean is with the Morris Animal Foundation. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks I'm so us. glad both of you are here. You want to tell us a little bit about Butters? Yeah, you got it. So she is a nine, nine and a half year old golden retriever. Um, high energy, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good thing at this age. Yes. And uh, I bring her on these shows merely because uh, she is, although she is kind of a big Marmaduke um, in our house, <laughs> she really is an average dog, and she represents. <laughs> Um, uh, many <laughs> she knows you have up. treats. Exactly. Well, she's an average dog, and dogs like her around the world have benefited in some way from the one of the 2,700 studies we've funded over the years. So I think it's just good to have an average dog on. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, anytime you bring a pet, it's a good thing. We exactly. love this. Okay, yeah. well, explain to our viewers a little bit about Animal Morris. Morris. Uh, Morris Animal Foundation. I'm just flipping words all day today. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, so we are Morris Animal Foundation. We're located right here in Denver. We've been around for 70 years, and we are the largest foundation nation in the world dedicated to funding studies for the benefit of animals. So what we do is we raise money and fund scientists all around the world to f try to find solutions to serious health threats that cats, dogs, horses, and animals face. All right. So you want to tell us a little, some examples of some of the things you guys have supported? Yeah. So some of the big ones, I'm sure you've heard of the canine parvovirus. Mm -hmm. um, so that was just a disease that devastated young dogs in, a, in the late 70s and early 80s. My family lost uh, a beagle puppy when I was a kid. Um, so Morris Animal Foundation funded studies that really got to the bottom of what that disease was all about and really how to defeat it, and that led to a vaccine. And along the same lines, we also funded um, research into the feline leukemia virus that led to a vaccine, and that's that's a virus that causes cancer, cancer and other diseases in cats. You have this end of the year campaign. It's super important. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, sure. So obviously, you know, it's mid-December holidays. Uh, a lot of people are thinking about their friends and family and hopefully are in the spirit of giving. And, you know, pets are certainly members of our families. Oh, and sure. we're asking people just to consider that. And, you know, if you're feeling it, um, please consider making a gift to help uh, pets and animals lives better. You've got a great match, right? This uh, The campaign does. Tell us about this match. Yeah, sure. So this is a really cool thing. So our board of trustees is putting up a $200,000 dollar for dollar match. So uh, uh, between between now and the end of the year. So if you make a gift, it can go twice as far. Oh my goodness. Yes. We like that, don't we, Butters? Okay. Talk about, again, some of the studies that, you know, these gifts that people would be giving and match, for, of course. What do they support? Sure, sure. So we have studies that are running about 200 any given year uh, mm -hmm. around the world. But uh, one really cool one that just started up the road at CSU is uh, looking into uh, cancer in dogs. And uh, what it's all about is that basically it's injecting harmless microscopic bits of iron into into dogs' bloodstream to really just kind of discover bits of cancer that are hiding within, oh. within cancer. So you want to make sure that if you're going after cancer, you get it all so it doesn't uh, rise up again. Well, you've also had this Golden Retriever Lifetime Study. Mm -hmm. That's been very successful, hasn't it? it has so it's been around for about seven years now, and that's our one in-house study that we're doing ourselves. And what we're doing is we're following uh, more than 3,000 golden retrievers uh, throughout their lives around the country to try to find any correlations we can between uh, cancer because it's so prevalent mm -hmm. in that breed and any you know their their uh, their genetics, their lifestyle, you know how they're living, their environment, and uh, we're really really trying to get the bottom of uh, not just cancer but uh, many issues that uh, dogs of that size face. You guys have exciting news that is coming from that, huh? Yeah, so we're going to have lots of studies that are going to come from that. But I think uh, one bit of controversial news that came out earlier this year was involving spay and neuter, and we found that um, if dogs were spayed or neutered at any age, they uh, run the risk of becoming overweight or obese, and if they're spayed or neutered before the age of six months, their chances of having a non-traumatic orthopedic injury, so like an injury to the legs or joints just from mm -hmm. running around and jumping, uh, increases 300-fold. Oh, my 300%. goodness. 300%. Yeah. I just think what you're doing is so important, especially for all animals, not just the wonderful dogs like Butters. Yes, I don't have any of it, but so nice to have you both here with us Thank today. You. Help in the advancement of animal health by donating during the end of the year giving campaign to give animals more. Make your donation online, morrisanimalfoundation.org, or go ahead and call 800-243-2345. Four, five. Thanks for being with us today, guys. We loved having you on the show, and I hope everyone at home has a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Furniture provided by Colorado Casual Furniture.